I'm showing you how to run multiple instances of Minecraft at the same time. Pretty cool, right? Big thanks to uh, Locky Gamer for uh, sending me how exactly how to do this. Greatly appreciate it. W individual. Anyways, uh, I'm actually whipping out the desktop for this video. Damn, been a while since I showed this. I don't know, it's maybe even been more than a year since I actually showed this on my YouTube. Anyways, uh, not sure why I'm... Uh, okay, so, so if you want to right-click anywhere, it can be on your desktop or whatever. Uh, this is compatible, by the way, with different launchers. I'm going to be using Bedrock Launcher, for example, and it works with just default Bedrock Edition as well, but also, for example, with Jai um, or others. Anyways, we can just create go new over here and then text document, just like that. Uh, so we can just call this um, a multi instance uh, uh, and then just dot keep it dot txt for right now so we can all enter it nicely. Uh, I'm going to enter this with something called notepad plus plus but you can really use any text editor. Then we want to paste in this right over here. So that's pretty cool, right? Uh, this is just the text you can find it in the description down below. Once you've pasted that in, you can save it, close that. Then we want to go ahead and rename this, remove the .txt from the end, remove it, and then replace it with .bat, just like that. And now we have this right over here. If you can't see um, the .txt at the end, then you want to go over to view, show, and make sure that file name extensions is ticked right over here. Um, anyways, that's pretty nice. So what we want to do now is just really create a desktop icon for Minecraft because that's going to make it easier or just create one over here. So I'm just going to choose any version of Minecraft I want. I'll choose 1.21.60 for this uh, video. So I can just open this up and now I have Minecraft here. I just want to pin it in this case to my taskbar and so I can close this now and I'll still have Minecraft here. So I won't need to go into here to launch it. Um, as you can see, I can open this up, and then that's pretty cool, and then I can not open it up again, yet. We can double click on this right over here, press any key to continue, in this case I'm just going to press on any key, haha, <laughs> yeah, and then we can press on that to open it up, and right click, press on that, and then we can open it up again. That's pretty cool, is it not? Then we can right click, select that, and open it up again, even if we want. Um, even better, right? And it's really that simple. Uh, this is completely safe as well. Let's see if I can... Um... So, uh, yeah, really that simple, right? Subscribe the video and like my channel. Uh, I mean, lick my channel if you... um like this tutorial and it helps you out. Anyways, obviously this does come with some limitations, so I'm literally playing two instances right now, not sure why one looks like that. Is that a thing? This new GUI is tripping me up so bad, man. Uh, anyways, we can check out servers over here, for example, and you'll notice that we can't log in, well, play on... Proceed. Uh, play, play on multiple servers at the same... Play on one server with multiple of your same players at the same time um so as you can see i'm logged into lifeboat over here now and say i wanted to go into lifeboat over here you'll notice that it's not actually going to allow me to do that it's going to kick me as you can see try to connect to two different servers so obviously we can't do that you could if you then signed in with a different account so obviously here in this case i'm signed in twice with the same account but you could sign in with different accounts and then it would work for the rest, of course, you can um, go into worlds, and then I could go into a different world with this account, or I could go into two different servers or something of the like, but here's what happens. I haven't actually tried going into a world with the same account twice. Can I just... Oh, that's trippy. Oh, okay, it's just gonna... Um, these are just two different instances now. That's interesting. I didn't know that ha happened. But I suppose what's happened now is that these have both created their own world. Um, and so they won't be able to update within each other. But of course, this does still have practical uses. Um, we can, we can, what you can do is join through LAN or local access networks with each other. So you could have multiple accounts in the same world. Um, I've used a similar method, but not the exact same one to um, 
record my own gameplay through an in-game Minecraft thing, right? Obviously, you have mods for that on Java, but you don't on Bedrock, so that was pretty nice. Uh, anyways, yeah, for the rest right now, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, also worth mentioning, you can just delete this file, of course, once you're done, and um, then it'll all be gone.